Hello, good morning. It's Monday, I think it's the 26th of October, and I hope you're well. And it's a bank holiday here in Ireland, but as you have probably noticed, I don't keep regular hours. So uh, I sometimes do be on the DOS when I should be at work, and here I am working when I'm meant to be on the DOS. And it's a terrible day out there, but that's grand because all bank holidays in Ireland, you'd swear it was the middle of August or the end of August whenever we have our bank holiday. When do we have it? Is it the start of August we have it in Ireland? Yeah, it could be an August day out there. Uh, windy, rainy, overcast, desperate. Um, and the big news for me is that the clocks went back and that makes me tremendously happy. Um, I just feel so much safer in this time of year. And <clears throat> My sympathies go out to you if you're one of the people who suffer during the dark months, like poor old Mammy Keys is gone into an awful decline because of it. But then, you see, when it comes to February and then there's a grand stretch in the evening, you will be happy and I'll feel like withering and dying. So, do you know, but for all of us who are affected by the elements, it's hard, do you know, and, and one way or another we must all be nice to each other. Um, so yeah, so I had a good week last week with the scribing and I was going to talk to you a bit about names of characters um, because it's really, really, really important um, and I, I love Irish names, like I wish all my characters could have Irish names and my most favourite Irish name ever is Tighe and I have a brother called Tighe but it's spelled T-A-D-H-G and I just know that people who aren't Irish, you wouldn't have a clue, it's just like, it's just an alphabet soup, it, it's just a, a kind of a jumble of letters. Um, and I know myself from reading the Farden books and the Farden translations, that if I can't pronounce a person's name, I can't bond with them. Um, so I can only do ones that people know, like maybe Maeve, which has, you know, the anglicised spellings, or, or maybe Neve, or Sinead, that's a good one, everybody knows Sinead. Um, <coughs> sorry, frog in my throat. Um, and another thing um, that I have to be careful of is I can't have lots of characters start names starting with the same letter. Um, that's mistakes that I made in, in earlier books. And again, because when you're reading, you're reading quickly and your eye will snag. Well, I suppose I can only speak of myself as a reader. My eye snags if there's three characters and they're all names begin with them. I think, which M is that? And it just slows you down for a second. So I try to have everybody's name starting with a different letter. Um, and another thing I do is no character's name can be too long. Um, well, you can have the odd Sebastian or Virginia, but you can't, well, I can't have too many. Again, because I write fast, um, I am read fast, and long names interfere for in the rhythm of the sentences that I write. Now your sentences could be different, you know? And then there's other things like with sexy men, you have to be really, really, really careful um, the sort of names you give them. I mean, it, it, so, like several names are shorthand for kind of klaxon sexy man, um, like Nick or Steve or, or Luke, mea culpa, um, or like Lance, you couldn't have a Lance, you might just as well call him Ryder. Um, it, you know, so, and I suppose as the books have gone on and I've written, I hope, several ridey men, the challenge is to come up with new names that are still ridey-ish, but not too in your face, if you'll pardon all the Freudian stuff that's going on here. Um, and then other names like, you know, uh, forgive any Herberts who might be, uh, watching me, um, your name wouldn't kind of signify the rightiest of men. So with all due respect, I probably wouldn't have you, um, your name, uh, do you know what I mean? My apologies. But then Herbert is a lovely name for a baby or for um, an elderly person. Or like, um, yeah, you see, like the name, for example, Ethel. Ethel is lovely if you are six months or if you are 73. But you can't really have an Ethel who is 37. Not really. I don't know too many. You see, that's the thing as well. Like names have to be sort of time appropriate. You know, all I'm saying is it's a whole nether world that I knew nothing about when I started writing and started making all these mistakes. One final thing I'll say and then I'll shut up. Uh, ancillary characters. Um, I, have, I have terrible form for calling them Frank. I have thousands of Franks on the margins of my books. 
um, and any version of, of James. I've James, I've Jimmy's, I've Jim's, I've Shamey's, I've Seamus's, you know, and it's got to stop. Um, and it's funny, I see it in other people's books as well, you know, kind of a, um, a what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, an abundance of friends, for example. And, uh, but these are all mistakes that, that I've learned, I hope, not to do anymore. Um, anyway, so I have another couple of lovely things to talk to you about. Um, one of them is about makeup. Now, you know that sometimes I get sent free makeup. I know, I know, I know, I, I know, I'm the luckiest person on earth. Well, I got sent some samples of a brand I'd never even heard of. Um, and they're here. The, the brand is called Bagsy, which it's funny because in Britain land, Bagsy means kind of, I want that one, I Bagsy that one. But in Ireland, you see, people of my dad's age would describe when something is bad, they would call it, it's a bags. And so myself and himself, who's just there behind the camera, we say that things are bagsy when they're bad. But these are not, these bagsy things are not bagsy. They're lovely. Now, I haven't been able to establish prices, but I know they're sold in Devon Hams, so they can't be too dear. And I'll tell you, I am, I am wearing, for examples, this thing, it's it's a wonder wand, a wonder wand, and it's got um, a concealer on one side and an illuminator on the other. So I have that on this morning. So do you see, I have no purpley circles. Well, I hope I haven't, and uh, and then I hope that I would have bouncy light coming at you. Who knows? But I like I like it very much. Um, now, uh, blusher. I am very guilty of the sin of over blushing. I love blusher. I just think, see, I was told that I could take a lot of blusher. And because I've spent my entire life feeling that my life, uh, my face is just kind of this big round fat plate. Um, I, I, before Cantor was invented, um, I used the blusher. Now this is lovely. I had a Guerlain one that was very similar. Now I'm not saying they copied them or nothing. I'm only saying that I like this sort of thing. So I rubbed it on, I rubbed it on, and then I buffed it with my buffing brush. See, like this. I won't do it again. I could, I suppose, but I'd need a mirror. No, will you trust me? I did it. So I hope that I have a kind of a nice rosy flush without having the big um, roundy circles of pink that I normally have. And now, do you see my lips? See, you wouldn't think I had anthem on. And this is kind of what I'm looking for um, in a daytime lip wear. Um, I tried the statement lip there for, for a couple of weeks and I felt people were crashing cars and stuff when they were seeing me. They, they were startled. I, I'm not a statement lip person. I like to keep it more on the down low. So um, hold on, I'll show you. Where's it gone? Yeah, this stuff, right. It's lovely. Do you see? What's it called? Bagsy. Lip Velvet Soft Matte. Now, this is the packaging. The packaging is lovely of this brand. The only thing I would say, they're, they're guilty a bit of over packaging, too much packaging. Um, uh, but still, um, this is lovely. It's on, you wouldn't know it's there. And then I was able to drink water and I didn't come off on the glass. And I didn't get, do you know the way you get the Joker style, well I do, things up here like this. I didn't get that. Right now, right now, the big news. This is why we're all here, really. Um, I'm going to be on the It Takes Two panel on the Zoe on Friday, and I am excited out of my mind. Um, and I don't know yet who's going to be there, and I'm very, very sorry about Ainsley going last night. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, he was the best natural dancer, and you could tell he was really enjoying it. Like, he was, he's brilliant, and his, like, his dance at the end, like, I'd love to go disco dancing with Ainsley. Like, he, he's just, he's gorgeous, and I'm, I'm so sorry he's gone. But anyway, he won't be there on Friday, evident. But who will be? I, I'm sort of, well, of course I hope Pasha will be. Um, and I'm sort of hoping Gleb will be. But anyway, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, the big thing is, my anxiety always is like, how do, what am I going to wear? And it's got to be sparkly. Now, I have two pairs of shoes um, in the running. I will show them to you. Hold on. Now, hold on. These are the, the I'll show you these first. See them for heels. Now I'll twirl them around. Do you see? Very nice, yes? Very nice. 
were too bloody high. It would be grand when you say, I've been studying the, the Zoe's on a Friday. I will have to walk through the crowd of people, up steps, over wires and sit down. And I am the clumsiest person alive. I cannot run the risk of wearing these heels. It would be grand if, the, if, if I could carry them in my hand and sit down on the set and then when the camera started rolling, I'd be there with the shoes on me, just see, like this, like this, like this. Just see, hold on. I will put them on, sure. What the hell, I'll try, I'll even try standing up and you'll see, it's a wobbly old business. I'd need a stick or a crutch. Maybe I could borrow Dad's stick. Or he has a kind of a lovely, a row later that he goes walking with. I'll talk to Dad later. Um, so yeah, just see, I mean, they are lovely, but like, you'd break your neck. Well, I would break my neck. But we do have a solution. And it is these lads. And oh my God, I love them with the heat of a billion suns. Uh, there's so much about them that is to be loved. They are sparkly. There is blue bits. They are four inches high. They are 10.5 centimetres. Yes, yeah, centimetres. But because it's chunky, I won't take a tumble. Well, I'm far less likely to. Um, now, I do have ancillary worries in that my legs will have to be bare. So I'll have to have the shiny shins that the ladies have on the Graham Norton's couch. So I'm going to have to get me fake tan done beforehand and then polish them up, buff them up with... I don't know, Mr. Sheen, Mr. Muscle, have them good shiny mahogany polish shins beforehand. Um, so apart from the worry about, and I suppose I am committing some egregious fashion faux pas by having bare legs at the end of October. But you know, I commit egregious fashion faux pas every day of my life. From the minute I get out of bed and stand on the floor, I have done something wrong that, fa you know, Planet Fashion would all come over and have a good old laugh at me at. So, you know, why, why break the habits of a lifetime? So, I'm so excited. I'm so grateful to them for having me. Um, now, next week, um, I haven't received my orders yet. Um, so, I might still, I know I probably, no, I will definitely be in London next Monday because I'm doing the um, Guardian Masterclass on how to write a bestseller on the Sunday, do you see? And I think I have a photo shoot on the, on the Monday. So, I don't know how I'm going to be able to manage to do a, a video. Um, so, it might be late, it might be done on a crappy old phone. Uh, I do beg your indulgence. And... Uh, thanking you for being so lovely and I hope that this has been um, enjoyable. It's been very enjoyable for me. It's really nice to get to do this and to talk about the scribe and bit as well, as well as the makeup and the shoes and the Strictly's and all the other things that I love and of course the darkness. Anyway, enjoy the winter and if you don't enjoy the winter, take tablets, eat sweets, eat cake, watch Strictly be really, really nice to yourself. Don't go to the gym. Don't. You know, be gentle, be gentle. It's, it's harder for lots of people. If you are one of those people, you know, don't be ashamed of it. Be proud that you have survived until now. And, and don't overload yourself. This is what I try to tell myself. I'm going to try and do it. Anyway, anyway, I've, I can't shut up. It is dreadful. Goodbye. Thank you. Goodbye.